Okay guys, welcome to another vid. I'm over the Pendle Hill area. Bit of a gloomy day, but there's some forest, some woodland, some huge trees up there. You can see it's centre screen. Pendle Hill to the left up there. I'm gonna go up and have a hike in these forests, these woodlands, cut some steak up. Well, let me give it a set these cameras up, do some scar watching hopefully. It will clear up. So if you're new to the channel I make, get in the outdoors, going scar watching, looking for strange things and then Sky's using now vision equipment, the Psyonics. Let's get parked up. Please do subscribe. So I'm in little Marco camper I'm making guys. Gonna have a a coffee before I do anything else. Get this coffee going. If you ever do anything like this in vehicle, have your ventilation windows or doors open. Always have some water at hand just in case of emergencies we are dealing with an naked flame. Well, safe enough here. But always make sure. There we go, guys. Starts off the walk very nicely. A nice coffee next to this stream. Beautiful, can't beat it. So here we go guys, climbing out of the village of Barley. Lovely little place. They call cafe, some public towels. But very touristy, so we're not interested in touristy when I get in the wildest places we can get over here. One thing I have noticed on this little trail just out the village, the locals or maybe just the hikers around here are so friendly. Friendly people, check this out guys, check this view. So what I'm gonna do guys is get up into this woodland, cook my steaks and then up there on the mirrors for tonight's scar watch. Lovely quiet place. So a little bridge and pathway up into these woods. Let's get up there. Here we are, love the woodland. It's a steep pathway out there. But you know there's plenty of deer in this particular area. But I'm gonna come off this path and cut through this woodland, a bit of a a trodden trail there. Look at these trees. Actually, we'll have a walk up here and cut across near the top. Maybe you can make out Pendle Hill there through, through these trees. That's really stunning, even on a day like this. Oh, there's a climb. Stunning. Side of these rooted root bowls here. I think you can hear an owl. Actually, I think I've showed you these before a while ago on the channel. I stood right next to them, but today it's so swampy. Deep in mud. Trust me, when I stand next to them, I'm only halfway up them. I'm not going to be sinking in a lot today, but amazing. Look, we got through there. There's a little area. Me and a friend of mine thought it'd be good wild camping area until we stepped in it and sunk way past the ankles in mud. So maybe on a very dry summer. That's the only time. It will be a beautiful spot.
or to give it a go but very deep in mud like I say in all my videos sometimes it's just good to stop and become a part of the place the world's in such a rush we out hiking stop five ten minutes twenty minutes half an hour an hour just stop every so often and uh, become a part of the place So what I'm going to do now is cut through these woods off the path, get my steaks cooked. Something about being in woodland you're so close to nature. And if you're at night time, that really does get your senses heightened, your natural instincts kicking. Somebody said one of the channels, I think it was Ben, of 4 one fowls. There's nothing more frightening than running through woods at night time with your torch. You can just about see in front of you. I haven't tried that yet. I suppose that could be quite dangerous. You're doing a trip and fall some very sharp branches and things sticking up. But I could imagine that is a real primal instinct. Like you're chasing or you're being chased. Trying to find a good spot, maybe here, or somewhere which levels out a little flat back under this tree. So I've got my uh, stove, stove going, maybe, maybe here. This looks good, little, uh, little seat, wet through, but there we go. So, in there, guys. Put some butter, some soy sauce, garlic, salt and pepper. No time to get these steaks in. Lovely kitchen. So there we go, two real steaks cooking away in butter, garlic, with soy sauce and salt and pepper. Guys, just check life out. It smells absolutely beautiful. Right, there we go, just let that cool off. It smells absolutely beautiful. I'm ready for this, definitely. And uh, carry on this little hike. Not clearing up yet, but it's supposed to. We we'll get on them mirrors and uh, do the sky watch and got the silence with me. See what we can get on camera something very odd last time big bright light traveled across thought it was the rss it disappeared it wasn't check the app checked the app for any normal satellites it wasn't a plane it went into a bit of clouds and never come out the other side of it very odd but who knows guys now everything is tracked on the apps there are secret things out there in military but also i reckon there's others as well Check that guys. Mm. Staking the woods in the forest, nothing better. So there we go, staking the woods, nothing more primal. Apart from going hunting it and uh, killing it yourself, that would be bloody good. Steak, soy sauce, butter, garlic, salt and pepper. Beautiful. Let's get going. What a spot guys, even on a day like this, the cloud just touching over the top of Pendle Hill there. That's this stream and these woods. Amazing. Okay guys, I've just climbed it out. I've got water burn twilight now. So glad I had them sticks. Very windy, but you can hear me. Just coming out, hand holding tonight. 
what a great hike though today, what a great day. I say I loved it. Well, it's still twilight, we're getting towards 7 o'clock, summer's coming. It'll be dark soon, no moon tonight, so these stars should really show how it's cleared up beautifully as the forecast promised, which is a surprise to me because usually the forecast is really hard, the mist rolls in, but it's lovely and clear. Just looking at the straight away we've got something moving across. I'm going to check the app, like I said, I'm not going to check the app for every light moon across because the satellites, although that is bright, the plane's blinking below it. We'll check for the ISS, just in case. Give me a second, guys. You know what, there we go. We've got the ISS moving over. That's what that is. Incredible to think there's people on there. Amazing. Keep an eye on it because there have been reports of things tag tagging along and following the ISS of unknown origin. We'll keep an eye on it. Well, there's a stroke clock. I never checked to see if this was passing tonight. Never give it a thought, to be honest with you. Nothing taking along, something else moving up there. So not checking the app. A really cool thing, but there's something probably sat there. Picking up more of a blue colour on that one. The ISS makes its journey around the earth. Aircraft there. The aircraft is moving, well, from my field of view, under the ISS. But look at that. Great stuff, I always love seeing that coming over. Just a thought that there's people on the, the live view cameras will be picking up the UK as it moves over. So really cleared up, a lot more than what I expected. You can never tell with the forecast when it says it's going to be clear, it's cloudy or misty when it says the cloud will break. You get beautiful clear skies like this but it is twilight it's still. Around 7 o'clock. The stars are just coming out. Hopefully this mist does not roll in tonight. If we get a clear night, it's absolutely what well, a perfect day it's been if we get a clear night, but I can't complain, whatever, I've enjoyed it. But it is windy. So I hope you can hear me. It says it starts snowing a bit early. All of these mirrors, it is very cold. Also there's another bright light over there. Moving, you can see it does centre screen. I'm hoping it'll stay clear because there's no moon, and it's so clear at the moment. And the worry I've got, just pan over here a little bit. There's some cloud, and that is moving in this direction, but it is what it is. Just hope it stays clear for when it's properly dark. It is what it is. It's been a great day. So 
So we've got the plough there, is this something moving along? Probably another sap. Something else, uh, another sap probably. Are we going to get something unusual tonight before these clouds are rolling? Which I think they are. When you come out like I do, you tend to get a good guess of what's going to happen with the weather. Still not properly dark. We're just getting on for eight o'clock now. So, guys, just a suggestion: if you do want to go out sky watching, and you want to see satellites or whatever else is moving up there, twilight is the best time. That's when, when whatever else is up there is reflecting at sunlight over the Earth's horizon. People say, why? Do these unknown objects have lights on them or well, many of them but our film which can't be explained don't they're just reflecting lights from the sun up there in orbit that's what's going on but you will see most of your yeah, satellites and space debris tumbling at twilight but obviously the stars aren't as clear and as bright it's not quite dark just yet that's the time you'll see most things crossing. Plane crossing up there. The cloud is really moving in, but there we go. If we don't get out, what people think is sat. Satellites do change direction and speed and we're not in the sat. People report that a lot. So I do keep the camera on them for a while. That's a sat. Sionix, brilliant cameras, they really are, link in the description, if you like the outdoors, like the sort of thing I've been doing today, SW Outdoors, link in the description, that's my other channel, that is just about the outdoors, just about getting out, hiking, wild camping, car camping, sleeping in the van, lots of videos like that coming up this year, it's cold, slowly moving over, this is so often the case over the mirrors, it's probably clear over the course, but there we go. I said in the last video thinking of doing some director's commentaries on older videos, on old, it is very cold, it affects your speech, it's absolutely freezing. So director's commentaries on older videos going into these videos in more detail why I am where I am the reason I go up there, the sightings what I've got on camera, what I think it was what people think it was in the comments whether I agree, don't agree and I'll tell them from the camper van I'll do some of these directors commentaries on bad nights when I can't get out another satellite problem I think these clouds are going to encroach before proper night falls, but... There we go.
ladies up there, the Seven Sisters, Orion, just being covered up by this cloud. So much on last year, I wanted to arrange some scout watches and definitely do that this summer. That wind really is getting up. I think there's a tractor running down this. Yeah, there's a tractor there. Sat down for a little while as it was going dark and looking back at the footage I filmed today, I think. I accidentally put the GoPro on the fisheye lens, I don't know, we're messing about with the settings, I noticed the trees were bending in the footage. I usually have the stable footage where you don't get the fisheye lens, but there you go. All's good. This cloud is moving in. The stars are showing up lovely and bright with all that moon. Still got this cloud. Seems to be breaking a bit. I haven't noticed anything unusual yet. Quite often when I check out the footage, I might notice something, but I don't. Maybe a lot. Sometimes comment to say you've noticed something, so that's why I do it. Little scar watches. There's a little screen I'm looking at, and quite often I'm looking through the screen, so I do miss things. It is quite early. I'm just getting up at 9 o'clock. This cloud is moving in. It's absolutely freezing cold, so I think I will have an early night. Something moving up there. But it's been a great day. I really enjoyed myself. I love hiking and like that and making something to eat. And steaks. Absolutely beautiful. I'm no expert cook, but I just think anything you cook outdoors tastes a lot better. So as you can see, this cloud now is really coming in. So not a late night for me tonight, it's not even properly dark. But I think I might call it a day. Freezing cold, I'm going to get home. Get something to eat, have a brandy. So if you see anything guys in this footage, let me know. Please do like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, I'll always reply. I'll be telling more UFO stories in the camper van. And some of these directors' commentaries. What a day. But I think it'll stay out much longer than it'll be no problem. You can see these clouds are moving in. So I'm off. Okay guys. Please subscribe to the channel if you like anything like this. Much love, you like my people. God bless, it's freezing cold. Can't even speak. I'll see you soon.